So this here is a relatively recent acquisition, a um, sandblasting cabinet. Um, I'll put some details about this in the description. Um, it's uh, from a, a relatively local company to me in, in Retford and I bought it online. Um, I got this with a view to helping me get a uniform finish to my aluminium and stainless steel. Um, stainless steel in particular is difficult because you can clean that to a mirror finish but that's very time consuming and problematic and the slightest scratch or mark shows up dreadfully and aluminium has its own finishing issues and, and I want to be able to get a uniform matte finish on both those services. Um, so what I'm videoing here is some of my experimentation. So looking in here I've got a medium in there which I don't know if this is going to focus nicely, but it looks like it looks like a lovely, colourful, uniform sand. I mean, we call it sandblasting, and that just looks like the best beach sand you've ever seen. But it is actually crushed walnut shell, and it oh it smells fantastic and it's a shame you can't you can't smell that but it's very aromatic it's lovely so i'm going to give that a test um what i've got here is just a piece of aluminium and it's been cleaned up with 120 grit abrasive um and i'm going to see what sort of finish that it generates on that whether it can get rid of the 120 mil scratches whether it gives me a uniform finish and then we'll see this process is going to be quite noisy the the unit here has a has an led light in it and in here is a filter with an extraction fan the extraction fan is quite noisy also um the um, unit here runs on compressed air just the noise of the compressed air is noisy enough but also the compressor will kick in and out um, so once I've strike this up it's going to be quite noisy so what I'm going to do is um, set the com this uh, set the camera up on a stand I'm going to have a go at blasting this piece of aluminium and we'll see what sort of results we get Well, that has had an impact on the piece, but not as much as I'd hoped. I mean, we, I don't know if this is focusing very well here. Let's me just move into a different lighting position. Um, I can still see the 120 grit marks on there. It is a very even finish though, um, but it's not really what I'm after. Um, I've started this with the, the least aggressive medium 
um, available to me um, and I have already tried this on a, a sort of smooth surface and it will re result in taking a polished surface to a matte finish um, which is rather nice but it's not quite doing what I'm trying to achieve so what I'm going to do now is change it for some glass bead and see what sort of impact that has the sandblaster has, I don't know if you can see this, I think it's going to focus, has a little plug in the base for me to uh, extract the, the media. So I'm going to have a go at that now and see what we can swap that over with minimum fuss. It's a little bit difficult one handed. So the next media I'm going to try are these uh, spherical glass beads. Now it sort of looks like sugar or salt and you'd be forgiven for thinking this was just sort of aluminium oxide or crushed glass or anything like that. Um, but just to demonstrate this, put a little bit on this smooth laminate surface here. These are undoubtedly spherical beads. That, that's like a bearing. So I'm going to put that in the sandblaster now and uh, let's see what sort of effect that has. I haven't been meticulous in cleaning out all the walnut shell because this is undoubtedly a coarser medium uh, than the walnut shell. Um, if I was going the other way from walnut to, uh, to from from these glass beads to walnut, I would be much more uh, meticulous in cleaning out the glass bead uh, if I wanted to get a high, highly you know fine finish on everything. So uh, let's try that and see how we get on. Well, that's much more like the finish I'm looking for. And not only that, it was really, really quick. As you can see here, we've got the 120 grade scratches. And if I move up to the treated area, we've got this nice, even, sandblasted matte finish. That's what I'm looking to achieve. So. So here you can see nice, nice sandblaster finish. I think that's I think that's pretty good. And this is where we started off with the 120 grade um, random sort of finish. And I'm looking for achieving this sort of finish on my tools and on the bended irons, etc. Yeah, I think we're going to call that success. I think um, the next thing to do is to actually try this on a on a cleaned up uh, box or on a cleaned up bending iron body, and see what sort of finish we get there. And I'll probably make another video of that. Um, if you're interested in this stuff, please like and subscribe so you get new videos. And if there's anything you want me to show you, or anything you think would be interesting. 
please make a comment and I'll see what I can do.